Hello everyone, today I want to show you how to create a modular table with geometry nodes. Uh, of course we are flexible with the uh, length, the width and the height of uh, our table and you can rotate the dishes and you can turn on and off the um, decoration in the middle of the table and so on. Um, if you want to know how to create that, just watch that video. We will start with our default cube. Uh, we go into the geometry nodes panel and create a new geometry nodes setup. We disconnect the group input from the group output. And first of all, we are going to create one of the uh, table legs. And to do that, we are going to create a cube primitive, connect it with the geometry so that we can see what's going on. And first of all, <clears throat> we are going to connect the uh, the different channels with our group input and to control them we need a combine XYZ node and we are going to control well, let's type in one and one that we can see something and we are going to connect the uh, X and the Y channel with our group input because we only want to have a quadratic um, legs and instantly we can see here our values appearing in the modifier panel. Hit N and uh, go to the group tab and rename it to uh, table legs x and y. And now we can already control our legs. Maybe we will give them a um, size of 10 centimeters that should be a normal uh, leg um, size leg and uh, now we have to connect the z channel to control the height we rename that table leg height and we are going to make a group around that hit Control J and we are going to rename that single leg and that single leg will be uh, our base for all the other four legs and now um, we have the problem that it's not grounded to the uh, zero um, set level and to do that we will need a set position node And we will need to combine X, Y, Z node. And we will need a math node that we set to divide. Now, what we are going to do is we are going to uh, take, oops, what did I type in here? Lex, leg height. We are going to take our uh, the height of our legs and divided with two. So we have exactly that part of our uh, leg and we are going to add this to uh, the Z value of our um, offset channel and type in two, of course, and instantly it jumps exactly to the Z point of our X Z axis, uh, to the zero point of our Z axis. And we are going to make a group around that too. And we are going to rename that to legs to ground. Before we create uh, the three uh, remaining legs on uh, our table and position them at the right place, we are going to create our um, table plate. And again, we will need a cube. And we will connect that um, with a combined XYZ node. And we will plug that into an empty um, panel of the group input. And we are going to rename that um, table plate length X. Connect that with our size. 
and we are going to create uh, to connect the Y channel with uh, our group input and we are going to rename that table plate with Y so that we can understand what we are doing and of course we are going to, we want to control the height of our table plate and we create uh, we connect that with our Z uh, channel and we will rename that to table plate height set. Now, of course, we have to give them some value, um, maybe two meters, more well, one meter, and the height will be about 10 centimeters. And of course, we have to connect it with our group input and to do that we are going to create a join geometry node and we plug our cube just into the joint geometry and we should see some plates of course it's not positioned um, on top of the legs we will do that uh, now first of all we are going to rename that into table plate and now we are going to connect it um, to set it on the top of our legs. To do that, we will need a set position node. By the way, uh, if you don't have um, these these straight lines, uh, if you have some curved lines, um, you have you can change that when you go to um, edit preferences and um, when you click on where is it themes and then under uh, where is it note editor you can change uh, these if you change it to zero you can you have straight lines um, if you change it to a higher number the uh, lines get uh, curved but I prefer I prefer some um, straight lines uh, that's easier to uh, make some knots uh, to it and where some lines are spreading from so Back to our table we want to set our table plate on top of our legs and to do that we just create another group input uh, by the way these two inputs are exactly the same if I add here some um, some slot uh, it will appear on that group input automatically so it's exactly the same and uh, you don't have to make these lines from that point all over to that point or even from some point of here all over to that one group input. Um, at least for me it's, uh, it's easier to handle. And now we are going to create a combine x, y, z node. And what we are going to do now is we uh, add the Add of the leg of the leg height and half of our. No, let's do that first. Um, then I ex can I explain a little bit better. We need a math node. And first of all, we are going to add the uh, leg height to the Z channel of our combiner X Y Z, and that will plug into the offset of the Z position. And as we can see, it moves to the up upper part of our leg um, but you can see uh, it's um, stuck in the middle so now we have to get the the half of the height of our plate and add that to the that uh, to the set value now um to do that we have that math node that we set to divide divide by two and we we take the plate that height and the only thing we have to do now is uh, take another math node and we add the height of our legs with the with half of the height of our table and we got a perfectly aligned table plate above our legs before we continue to position our four legs uh, in, in the corners of our table plate we are going to make a group um, to keep things organized. Hit Control J, and we are going to rename that group uh, Table Plate on top of Legs. 
So now we are going to create the for the three remaining legs um, on top of the uh, legs to crown uh, frame. And first of all, we are going to bring uh, that one single leg here um, in the upper right corner here. And to create that, we are going to create another group input. We will need another set position node. And now we make a direct connection to our set position node. Uh, hit shift and right mouse and make something like that. And now, first of all, we are going to position uh, that one leg at the end of our table. And to do that, we will need a math node, which we set to divide, divide by two. And we will need another, another math node also set to divide by two. And we will need another node that we set to subtract. We are going to connect the uh, table plate with, with uh, from our y-axis with our divide node. Uh, we will need another combine x, y, z node. Connect that with the y channel and connect that with our offset. And of course we have to create another join geometry node. And of course, we don't need our um, our leg positioned in the middle um, anymore. Um, that's why we can disconnect um, the leg to crown. And now we got only uh, our one leg that is positioned um, at the y-axis. And now we have to divide uh, to take the half of the radius of our uh, leg. And where is it? Uh, the leg the y connected with divide by two. And now we subtract the uh, table height, uh, the table width with our half of the length of our uh, leg. Connect that with our y. And now we got a perfect positioned leg at the y axis. And now uh, we have to take that to bring that leg to the corner. And to do that, we will uh, copy that uh, node tree here. Uh, maybe we make a group around that. Um, I don't know how to call it. Uh, maybe we can call it leg to side or something like that. And now we can copy that whole node tree like that. And the only thing we have to do now is uh, replace the uh, y outputs with the x outputs. So now um, we are going to connect that with our x and we need again the table legs x and y. And as soon as we got that, we connect that with our x. And it does exactly the same what we did with the movement from the middle to the uh, edge. It does now exactly the same to the uh, x-axis and we got one leg positioned perfectly in one corner. And before we create the second leg, we will make a group. And we are going to make a group around that whole node tree here. Hit Control J and we uh, name that maybe uh, first corner. Now we, the next step will be easy. Uh, just copy and paste that whole node tree here. And we have to make a connection between uh, that node, uh, that set position and this one. No. Okay, maybe like that, that won't work. Now, 
So, um, and the only thing we have to change now is the, we want to copy that one uh, to the other side um, around um, to mirror it on the x-axis. So we have to take this one that's going out um, on the, uh, that's our y parameter, means this one. And we want to mirror that on the x-axis. So we have to make a minus two divide on this side. So that will make a mirror on from that um, leg to the other side. And we have to add instead of subtract. And now we can connect this with the join geometry node and we got our second leg also positioned perfectly in the other corner. In the next step, we want to copy or mirror these two legs uh, to the other side. So we want to make a copy, a mirror copy on the uh, y-axis. Um, or in other words, we want to mirror the, <laughs> the x values. So to do that, um, uh, first of all, I'm going to arrange these nodes a little bit different. So we disconnect that and make a joint geometry node just in the middle and that one can now go into to the further uh, joint geometry node. So um, what we have to do now is uh, create another set position node. Set position node. We need again a combined X, Y, Z node. And of course, a math node, which we set to multiply. And we connect, we want now to mirror the X values. So that will go into the X channel and that will go into the offset. Now, what um, comes into the, uh, the input of our multiply? Fortunately, we have named our groups. Um, very informatively. So we have here our legs to side. That means uh, we have here now the perfect X value. That looks a little bit strange now because we uh, have not finished our node tree yet. So um, there's our, uh, our um, perfect uh, leg to side value. So uh, they are perfectly aligned on the X um, axis. And the only thing we have to do now is to make a connection between our um, X parameters to our multiply value. And of course we have to set it to minus two. And um, course we have to connect our two other legs here again with our joint geometry node because uh, our two legs are now um, just de deleted in other words. Um, we have to make a connection from a point before we move them to the other side. So let's make a connection from here to that joint geometry node and uh, there's our finished perfect moving table. We can control the height, we can control the length and the width, and of course the plate height. Some values does not make sense, of course. And now we can go on with uh, positioning our dishes and classes on our table. So before we continue to place our objects on the table, we first make another group. Hit Control J. And uh, we will rename that mirror uh, x parameters legs, something like that. And now um, we are going to create our um, our uh, objects on the table. And to do that, we are going to create. Um, a curve line because on a curve line we can control the uh, points um, or the exactly the exact amount uh, amount of points so we can um, 
exactly uh, define the numbers of uh, dishes and uh, chairs we want at our table. So we are going to create that curve line um, maybe just like here. Just below on the, under the table plate uh, on top of the next uh, frame and we will need now a curve line. Now we want to position that curve line just in the middle of the table and on the top. And maybe I switch to the uh, wire mode to see where the line uh, actually is. And first of all, we are going to connect the curve line output with some uh, joint geometry node. Um, maybe something like that. And connect that with the main joint geometry node. And as we can see, we get our line straight up from the middle point. And now, of course, we want to rotate that. And to do that, we create another group input. We will need a combine X, Y, Z node. We will need a math node, which we set to divide. And we will make another divide node that we uh, math node that we set to multiply, and another combine x y z node. So what we do now is we connect the um, the table plate length, the x axis we connect with that divide here and divide and divide it with two. And now we connect that with our x axis. Oh, I got the wrong one. Combine x, y, z, not RGB. Um, I think uh, it doesn't matter at all, um, but it's cleaner to use combine x, y, z. Uh, at the end, uh, combine RGB and combine x, y, z are exactly the same, I think. Um, but we connect that with our x-axis and that one we connect with our start point. And to mirror that point to the other direction, we will plug that into the multiply value and the multiply value we will multiply with minus one, so that means it's, it's just mirrored to the other side. So that point is mirrored to the other side. And we will connect that with the X channel and that one goes into the end point. Now we got a line that is exactly the length of our table. Let's make a group around that. And we will name that middle line uh, to table x length and now we have to bring the, the line um, on the top of our table and to do that we can copy our group input and we will need another math node which we set to add and now um, we have to add the height of our legs. Where is the height of our legs? Um, table legs height. And we have to add the height of our plate. The plate height, that, that will be that one. And that will go into the X values, uh, the Z values of our combined X, Y, Z nodes. And we got a perfectly aligned line uh, in the middle on the top of our table. And that will be the base um, of for all the other lines uh, where we place our objects. Now we still got one problem because um, later on the object, uh, some objects will be placed exactly on the edge of our uh, start point and the end point. And of course we don't want that. Um, so let's move that whole group little bit to the side and let's add some vector math node. First one we will 
plug right here between in and the other one uh, to the upper one. And now um, we have to add on the uh, first one, we have to uh, subtract um, something, maybe minus, minus 0 0.3. That will move uh, our line a little bit away from the edge. Maybe it's too much, maybe 0.2. And of course, um, the other one we have to uh, add 0 0.2 and that will make the line uh, away from the uh, edges. So um, it looks more natural later on and no objects will be uh, almost falling down the, the edge of the table. So um, the, maybe we uh, rename that uh, uh, line away from edge. And what we can do now is we can make our first um, instance objects. Uh, so we will need a set position node. Oh, I don't think that we need that, but uh, let me quick check my notes. Yes, later on we need that. So um, set uh, set position node, and now first of all, to we have to give them uh, we have to give the line some kind of um, one dimensional or two dimensional depth in the y axis because later on we want to. Uh, place some objects uh, on that area and we don't want to place it only on the line because that would look very uniform uh, We want to give it some kind of randomness. So we have to give that line some kind of um, 2d thickness and to achieve that we will create a curve to a mesh node And to give it some some thickness we will add a curve line uh, node that will be uh, the profile and now we can add combine x y z node another combine x y z node and Again, a multiply node. Uh, in other words, a math node, which we set to multiply. And we need our group input. And now we make a, a new input. Um, and that will be, we have to, we want to control the uh, X value. That means, um, we make a new input right there and we will name that uh, middle objects area. And we connect that also with the multiply node, set it to minus one because we want to make a mirror and that one goes into the x-axis, the lower one goes into the start, and uh, the upper one goes into the start and the lower one into the end. And we should now have some kind of area which we don't see because everything is perfectly white. And of course we forgot to uh, change the uh, standard value from zero to uh, something. So let me just disconnect that one and plug that directly into our uh, geometry. And as you can see, we've got now the area where we can place our objects. Let me, let me quick change that again. So now uh, what we have to do now is um, maybe first of all, we make a group around that and we will rename that middle middle objects area and um, to create our objects we will now need a distribute points on faces node
Of course, we will need an instance on points node. Instance on points node. And of course, we need some objects that we can place on our table. I've already created um, some table decoration objects. We have here a, a water bottle, um, a cooking pot and a candle. Um, I've downloaded these assets from uh, my Blender Kit add-on. Um, you can just type in bottle and you will get a ton of free bottles that you, that you can use on your table. Um, if you have the free version of it, uh, you just have to sign in. Um, there are also a lot of uh, bottles you can use if you have the paid version, which is I think only $6 per month, uh, you have access to all your bottles. Um, but that's up to you. You can also model uh, some assets on your own. I've used, I will use that, this one. Um, I will just drag and drop uh, our table decoration collection into the scene. And Make sure that you have uh, selected pick instance and separate children and reset children. Now plug in the geometry into the instance and we've got some objects on our table. Of course it looks terrible because they intersect each other and we can fake that a little bit um, if we change that from random to poison disk. And if we now uh, change the uh, distance, the minimum distance from maybe 0 to uh, 30 centimeter, or maybe 22, we now have some objects on our table. And as we change the table length, more objects we got. And in the next part, we are going to create uh, another curve line where we can place our dishes and glasses. And um, to do that, we will first of all make a group around uh, that whole node tree here. And we will call that uh, no, middle objects. Maybe we can give that a different color. And now um, we don't have to make that whole line again. We can just take that line from the middle, uh, but we will um, make another direction just before we give it some thickness. So let's make some uh, dot, dot point here and we make another set position node. And let's connect that. And we will make a instance on points node. In instance on points node. There it is. Let's connect uh, that position node with uh, geometry output with our points. And of course, we need another join geometry node. And we will connect that with maybe the join geometry node right above. Now we got some um, line that we can't see right now. And to make it visible, maybe we can uh, distribute some objects on it. And we will take our tableware set with plates. Also make sure that you have uh, Collect, um, activated pick instance and separate children and reset children and we connect that with our instance plugin. No, sorry, this time we don't have to activate these buttons because we only have to activate when we use distribute, distribution on points node. Um, so what we've got now is um, we've got one um, dish at the end of our line and at the uh, start of our line, because we have exactly uh, two points, a start and an end point. And to change that, we have to um, make a resample curve node first. And we will resample curve node and we will plug that uh, right before 
for our set position node. Maybe here, or I will make it a little bit above. So maybe something like that. And now, um, as you can see, as we increase our uh, resample surf count, we got more and more dishes. And before we uh, make the uh, count of the dishes automatically adapted to the uh, length of our table, we will position our line um, to one of the one of the edges of our table. And to do that, we will create another group input node. We will need a math node, which we set to divide. The divide will be two. We will add another math node, which we set to add. I will explain that uh, in a few seconds. And we, of course, we will need a combine x, y, z node. Combine x, y, z node. So what we're going to do now is um, we have our table um, width, which means the uh, y parameter. That is that one here. And we have to divide it with two because we only want to have the uh, half of the uh, table width. Now we can connect that with our Y channel and that one with our set position. And we've got our line perfectly aligned on the edge of our table. Now we have to move it a little bit to the uh, back on our table and therefore we plug that at a math just in between. And with that math node we can control where exactly our dishes are positioned on our table. Maybe we'll make our table a little bit wider so that it looks more natural. And we can make our middle objects a little bit uh, smaller, maybe something like that. By the way, we have to rename that. Um, middle objects area size on the y so now we've got our plates the problem is now that our plates are too too close to the edge so i think it would make more sense if we delete the first one and the last one. And to do that, we can jump to our instance on points node and we will add an endpoint selection node and we will plug that into our selection. But now uh, we have uh, deleted all the points in between the first one and the last one. So it would be cool if we have some um, kind of invert node um, and that invert node uh, will be our color ramp node. And the color ramp node, uh, just um, to explain it, uh, black is, uh, let me guess, I think it's zero or is it one? I don't know. Um, maybe white is uh, one and um, Black is zero, so we have to change that and our uh, values are inverted. As you can see, we have now three plates on it. The problem is now that there is now too much space to the, to the edges. And as we increase our table uh, length, um, the amount of uh, dishes um, does not increase. So uh, to change these two things, we are going back to our resample curve node 
and we are going to create a group input again. We will need a math node that we which we set to round and we need uh, another math node which we set to add. Now um, we take the uh, the x length of our uh, table. Um, where is it? Table plate length x. There it is. And we make that round. So um, that means uh, at that point the uh, value that comes out from here will be 2 and at that point our value will be 3 and so on. And if we plug that into uh, our count, you can see it already uh, begins to change. But at the moment uh, it's of course uh, far too there are far too less dishes, so we have to uh, add some uh, dishes to it like that. And with that value, you can now um, change some kind of the the density uh, the guests are having uh, on your on your table, and maybe uh, three point five. Oh, three would be cool. Uh, that looks pretty normal. Uh, something like that. Yes, maybe. And the other problem is now that there is too much space to the edges and to uh, change that. We have to make uh, another uh, tree here because we have to change these values. Just copy and paste that and connect these again with the from the combined xyz nodes and we have to make another curve line connect that with the inputs we can now disconnect that one and make a connection with our new curve so a new curve line and now um, we can change these values separately and i guess we have to let quick check my notes yes we have just to uh, invert these nodes so 0.2 and minus 0.2 and that moves the dishes perfectly to the edge and that looks like a pretty normal table and as we increase now our the length of our table we got some perfectly arranged dishes the next thing we have to do is to rotate these dishes to the other side. But first we are going to rename that group from line away, uh, dishes away, no, dishes uh, nearer to edge. And now we want to copy uh, our dishes to uh, just on the other side and to do that um, we have to make a group first of all uh, these are uh, the dishes on the one side so let's rename that mm, dishes uh, side one no side one and uh, we can copy that whole node tree and make a connection again from our resample curve node to our second set position node we name that dishes side two and make connect that with our join geometry node. Now we got uh, two digits exactly on the same position and to change that we can just uh, rotate them around the z-axis. So now they are rotated but of course we have to move them now to the other side. And we can do that by just 
adding uh, another math node just between the divide node and the um, the add node and we will create a multiply node and to mirror that whole thing we will just multiply it with minus one And of course, we have to uh, change that value here too, um, because let me put let me a quick check. Uh, though it's minus zero point two, and so on the side it has to be zero point two. And now we have some, we have a perfect table with dishes on both sides, and it reacts everything perfectly. So now it's time to create our chairs. And to create our chairs, or uh, to create the uh, line where we can uh, instance our chairs, uh, we can just copy and paste that whole dishes node tree. Again, we have to connect uh, the resample curve with our set position node. Uh, and now, of course, we have to bring our uh, curve line uh, to the to the bottom of our uh, floor. And to do that, we will add. Now, first of all, we are going to rename that uh, chairs side one, and we create another math node which we set to add. And we need uh, another node which we set to subtract. And now um, we have to subtract the height of our plate and the height of our uh, legs. So first of all, we are going to add these two values. Um, to do legs, table legs height, this will be that one. And the plate height, this will be this one. And now we have to make a, a negative value so that will be from zero and we will subtract our height or from um, our table height from zero and we will plug that into our set value and we should now have a line if we connect uh, that again with our join geometry node and that looks weird because um, I think we have connected a wrong socket. Uh, yes, there it is. We have to connect the plate height, not the plate width. Now they are arranged perfectly. And of course we have to delete that collection and drag and drop our chair collection. And there we got our chairs. Um, and with that value here, you can now control uh, the distance from uh, the chairs to the table. And now the next thing will be easy to just connect that whole chair node tree. And we will name that chair side two. Connect again the resample curve node with our set position node. Connect that with our join geometry node. Now erase the 100 degrees. And now change the multiply to one, or you can delete that at all. And with that value, you can control the other side of the chairs. So let's have a quick look if everything works. So now we have the length and there should be now more and more chairs exactly accordingly to the amount of plates. What we can do um, to make it look better because the 
uh, table is just an arrangement of some cubes um, at the moment. Um, we can add some bevel uh, modifier to it. Um, sadly, there is no uh, bevel node um, in geometry nodes. Um, and we have to activate our object. So it's a cube. Uh, I name it geometry nodes table and go to the modifier panel and add some bevel. So we have to make it much smaller, maybe something like that. That's still too much. So zero five like that and maybe three segments. That looks much more better. Um, what we can do now is add uh, set shade that shade smooth that shade smooth now the table looks pretty good i think um, you can add some material to the table um, you can add your own material or use some um, blender kit material from that add-on and um, We've got some pretty cool looking uh, modular table. Um, what we can do uh, now is we can add some randomness to our uh, chairs and our table. And to do that, um, we can go just to the end of our um, dishes node tree and make an another joint geometry node. Um, we connect that, we can now disconnect that one and now we have to insert a rotate instance node. You can later on do uh, exactly the same with the chairs and now connect that with the instance and that one again with our join geometry. And what you can do now is add some random value node, which you can set to vector and plug that in, into the rotation. And of course, we only want to rotate around the set axis. So maybe we can start with minus 0 0.1 and end up with 0 0.1. So you got some nice distortion. Distortion. It looks not, not too uniform. You can play with the values. You can do the same with the trees, uh, with the with the trees, with the chairs, and um, that's basically all you have to do. Um, only you have to add some uh, some material to your uh, table. But um, we've got some cool looking and modular table. Hope you uh, learned something and enjoyed the tutorial. Uh, hope I see you next time. Bye.